Okay. It is recording. Hmm. Should I zoom in? I feel like I should zoom in. Well, oh, perhaps. That might be too... too much. Oh, that's not too bad. Uh, you want to take a quick look at it? Uh, oh, hey. Like, it's a, showing to about here. Yeah. That's a I, think that's a, I think that's pretty good. I mean, at most, I would go here, I think. Yeah, because you, you have a lot of cool shirts to show. Yeah, so I may actually pull back a little bit more. Okay, uh, let's see. Actually, should I, should I be in Batman shirt for this? I think I will. I love how much fun I'm having with this. Seriously, it's like a whole new world has opened up to me. Cool. It'd be great if you would want to do something with it also. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'd love to record some videos. Here, maybe if I... Kate Blue and I were gonna try to record a video of some kind where you know, we're playing some sort of game. Mm -hmm. Like, um, who knows, maybe Octogad. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. Let's see, how long have I been recording? Okay, it doesn't say. Uh, there's a way to uh, connect this to your computer, right? Have this game. That? Mm, I have no idea. If you can figure that out, though, let me know, and we'll start doing that. Um, how does JD do it? Uh, he's got a capture card, so he's able to play it on his uh, um, computer as um, video. Oh, okay. 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 Yeah. We don't have something like that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's oh. something I'm pretty sure is supposed to be built in. On here? Yeah, like you need uh, special equipment inserted. Basically, the whole thing needs to be gutted and then put back together with the extra equipment on. Oh. And then you're able to connect it to the computer. Oh, okay. Okay, so uh, let's see. I guess. Good morrow, scholars. I'd say welcome back to my Pokemon Fire Red Randomizer Nuzlocke Challenge, but that just ended. So go take a look. I don't know which way it ended up being, so, you know. Go take a look at that, see how it went. I had a lot of fun, and I'm sure somebody did. I mean, it's my first attempt, so you can't hold that against me. But I wanted to do a vlog, at least three episodes, before I start a new series, just because... Uh, my mom does the whole hand over the heart thing. Um, it was just way too nerve-wracking for me. Especially towards the end. And it's just been one huge roller coaster. And I say and a lot. So yeah, anyway. I wanted to do a quick little vlog. I was thinking Batman. Because my brother and I were having a really good discussion about Batman the other day uh, in regards why do I keep moving my hair around I don't know what it is I guess it's because I'm nervous I'm not used to having a camera in my face I think I've been on camera like a video camera what four or five times maybe in my entire life and I'm like 25 right now anywho so Adam my brother who's over there say hi everybody Hello. oh sorry oh, oh hi everybody <laughs> No, no, I wanted everybody to say hi to you, I, I, and then, okay. I know. Uh, anyway, 
So, the other night, we were talking about Batman, because we couldn't fall asleep, and it was just, uh... It's what? Batman, so, you know, anybody can talk about Batman. Yeah, great thing about that. Mm -hmm. And he pointed out a really great thing that I hadn't considered. And that was just how dependent the Joker is on there being a Batman. And that got me thinking. Every single comic storyline involving the Joker, uh, where there is no Batman... And there's a huge difference between his um, characterization in these comics compared to all the other iterations in that the, it's a very distinct and um, often almost exactly the same between each one. The first one uh, I mentioned is where Batman retires before the events of The Dark Knight Returns by Frank Miller. It's a really good book, and they really did a good job on the uh, animated adaptation. And in it, in the comic book, because they changed it for the uh, movies, but in the comic book, and spoilers in case you haven't read it somehow for some reason, um, the Joker becomes a harmless clown pulling little um, pranks, like actual pranks, uh, with like his joy buzzer. Or just, you know, lightly tripping people. You know, um, practical jokes that people would actually do in real life to friends. Or people they hate. You know, whoever. Depends on the person. And uh, it was because there was no Batman for him to um, fixate on. So there was no reason for him to go around killing people. And then that got me thinking about a much more recent storyline... Although, in comic book time, it's not that recent anymore. Where Nightwing has become Batman because... Um, well, one, spoilers in case you weren't up to date with the comics. Batman had been sent back through time because of Darkseid's Omega effect. And was steadily working his way back to the present. Anyway, that's not important. But... The Joker was trying to get Batman to uh, follow him. You know, and stop him from committing his crimes. And uh, when Nightwing, as Batman, shows up, I don't use his real name because I don't curse and that's just too close, uh, shows up, he, uh, that is to say, the Joker, despairs and is practically crying, uh, saying th things along the lines of, no, not you, why hasn't he come, why did he leave me, things like that. And he's just completely distraught over not having Batman anymore. And not even Nightwing, who knows him almost as well as the Dark Knight, uh, was good enough for him. And so, I, I, I tell Adam, hi Adam, about these stories, and he's, you know, listening intently, and he's absorbing the knowledge. And then he points out something I had never considered once in my entire life, and that the reason the Joker fixates on Batman to the extent that he does is because that is the last thing that him, as a normal human being, saw before the Joker face when he pulls off the red hood and sees his reflection. And so, Batman is at the same time his... what would you call it? Like, his greatest fear? But it's also the... Um, um, shoot. That, uh, that, you know, his, Batman is you know, the link to... The Joker's insanity. Yes, thank you. Yeah, Batman is just like a, the physical representation of everything that went wrong for the Joker as a normal human being, and uh, his reason for being insane like he is. Um, basically, uh, Batman is the anchor for the sanity that was the man, but also the insanity that is the Joker. And I thought that was really interesting because that's, uh, I'm sure there's plenty of people that might have said something along those lines or wanted to take it in that direction maybe, but just the fact that my brother, after just, what, a few minutes of discussing Batman would make such a deep and profound um, observation of the Joker uh, on his own so quickly was uh, mind-blowing for me because it opened up my mind to an entire different uh, viewpoint of the Joker. Uh, let's see. 
Oh, um, yeah, so this is going to be mainly Batman related. I'd also, like I've mentioned in a few times, I've mentioned it a few times in my Nuzlocke, I would like to do a playthrough of Batman Arkham Asylum since uh, Arkham Knight has come out. And I don't know if you guys would be interested watching me because I'm a horrible Batman. I cannot stress that enough. This is not me. I'm awful. So badly suited to be Batman. My friend uh, Rob and I were actually discussing this uh, one day at work because uh, he invited me to his house and I couldn't find the way to get there because um, the map was wrong. It was on my phone. It was the it came with the thing as its navigation. I don't know. Anyway, so it's making me go all these different ways, and I have no idea what I'm doing. Excuse me. And uh, each time I pull over to ask for directions from where I'm at because I'm lost, he tells me I'm going the right way I need to go, but I made a left turn where I should have gone right. And it happened every single time I stopped and asked for directions. No, you're exactly where you need to be. You just should have turned left. Or, excuse me, you turned left when you should have turned right. Because uh, the first time I turned left and I turned right into um, a little outlet area. It had a library. And uh, he said, no, you're on the right road, but you just need to make a left turn and then go straight. So, you know, right from where I had turned left. And then keep going until you reach the light, and then you turn left, or you turn right, sorry. Again, why am I telling you guys how to get to his house? Anyway, so I do that, and uh, I'm looking for his apartment, because I can't find the street. And I turn right this time, and I pull over into this neighborhood, and I stop, and I ask for directions. And I'm like, you're like on the opposite side of the street. And I turn, and I look, and I see his apartments. I have no sense of direction, even though I know exactly where I'm going, apparently, at all times. I just assume that I'm wrong. It's, a, uh, it's actually pretty handy, um, because you're less likely to take offense to things, because everyone tells you something, and then, I don't know. Anywho. Yeah, like I said, I'd be a horrible Batman. I think I would make a much better Joker. But I'm way too timid, and uh, I'm also really clumsy. I know that doesn't have much to do with like the Joker or anything. You know, this would be an interesting little backdrop. Whoops. Here, let me see. Eh, not quite. Anywho. I like that it just stayed right there. Is there any other quick little Batman things we would like to discuss? Mm. Mm. You want to try and do a Batman trivia challenge? It works exactly like the uh, other trivia challenges, and if, <laughs> yes, and it's essentially the Disney song challenge, but you know it's just Batman facts and quotes, stuff along those lines. Uh, for instance. Although, the, uh, well, here's a little bit of trivia, you know, to kind of give you uh, an idea of what we would be doing if we were to do this challenge amongst me or my friends and Adam. I say Ed Adam because he's not Zoidberg, but because he's my brother. Shut up. Okay. Although the episode Heart of Ice was the 14th episode aired of Batman the Animated Series, its production number was episode three. So, here the question would be, since that was a trivia tidbit that I knew, um, I could say something like, which Batman the Animated Series episode was the third one produced, but the 14th episode to air? Or, you know, some variation thereof. Another one would be, 
Mm -hmm. What was the name of the uh, TV show that Bruce Wayne as a child would watch that partially inspired him to become Batman in the first place? See? Mm -hmm. Most of you won't know that. Even if you watch the series, you won't know that. Another good one would be, who's Roxy Rocket? Okay, so anyway, let me know down in the comments what you guys would like to see, what you wouldn't like to see. Should I do a Disney song challenge? Because I think I know the most Disney songs out of all my friends, and it would be it would just be hilarious to watch them all. Fail. Yes, thank you, fail at singing them, even if they get the right song to the right movie. I'm very, um, malicious. <gasps> I don't know why that made me go, oh, but... Yu-Gi-Oh! I want to bring Yu-Gi-Oh! to the channel. Yes, thank you. There's a Yu-Gi-Oh card. Its name is Malicious Edge. And there's Malicious Fiend and just Destiny Hero Malicious. Anywho, I would love to bring some uh, duels to the channel. And that'd be a lot of fun because uh, my friend Miga, he's the one that taught me how to duel competitively. I say that because nowadays the metagame is nothing but one turn kills. And that's essentially, no thanks, I didn't feel like playing today anyway. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, if I bring Yu-Gi-Oh! to the channel, it's definitely going to be like gimmick decks, like Ghost Tricks, or Vampires, or my personal favorite is actually Aliens, and the Inca deck. I really love the Inca. Even though it's also Aztec. So yeah, let me know if you'd like to see any of that. I'm going to try and do another Pokemon challenge, this time with friends. Uh, I mentioned it in the last, or the episode before last, I think, of the last episode. What? I don't know what I was saying there. The Pokemon uh, Avatar Challenge. So if you'd like to see that, I'd probably just do it for uh, Heart Gold or Soul Silver. And if I can do a co-op with a couple of friends, I'd probably uh, do that, and then we can see who can get to the end first. And let me know if that's what you want to see, uh, Nuzlocke co-op with me and some friends, and it, if it should be a Nuzlocke, so, uh, you know a lot of their Pokemon are going to faint. Also, I'm working on, um, a short horror film, so if you guys have any suggestions, like, stuff you'd like to see used in a horror movie, like, say you've got a mask that would be good for Creep Factor, or... Actually, now that I think about it, I have one. Court of Owls. Yes, beware the Court of Owls that watches all the time. <gasps> That could be our Disney song challenge. All the little rhymes and stuff that are used in Batman comics. And you have to quote them. Solomon Grundy, born on a Monday. I'm also currently working on a... Um, super villain, we'll say, uh, series with Miga, and uh, let me know if you'd like to see some supervillains, preferably from DC, but we'd also go Marvel, and even um, Dark Horse Comics, you know, stuff like that, where it's just them out in public, uh, when they're not either fighting crime or committing crimes, you know, basically it's villains out shopping, or heroes out shopping, whichever. Uh, let's see, is there anything else I'd like to say before I end the recording? Uh, not that I can think. Okay. Yeah, I'm still trying to grow a beard, because I'm trying to be, uh, Texas Toast Ben. It's not working. It's not working at all, I'm sad. My dad blames it on my, uh, Native American blood. And then he laughed at me.
Okay. Uh, well, that's about it for this episode. Thanks, you guys. It was a lot of fun making the Nuzlocke, and I realize I'm not popular yet. And I'm never really going to be popular, but as long as I have people that I can put content out to, uh, it'll be worth it. I'm having a lot of fun, and like I was telling Adam before I started the recording, it's opened up this whole new world for me. I have a brand new attitude. <laughs> <laughs> I've still got to catch them all. So, uh, until next time, bye everybody. I dropped my pants.